Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful 2019 Coachman Freelander 27 QB Class C gas motorhome. Overall exterior length is 30 feet and the exterior height to the large 15,000 BTU AC unit is 10 feet 11 inches. This coach is beautiful. Uh, I looked all over it and did not find any issues at all with it. So if a dealer was going to take this in on trade, I feel pretty confident they would uh, rate this as a 10, 1 through 10, 10 being the best, and it would probably be their showroom pre-owned piece. I know I would. Alrighty, uh, let's stop, uh, start up in the front and then work our way back. It does have the cab over bunk area, and you can sleep definitely two adults up here. And the fabric is, is a cloth fabric, kind of a corduroy, I guess, look or something. All your fabrics are all stain resistant on all coachments. Night shades all throughout. I'll show the window treatments when I get better lighting on one of the other windows. You do have the fold away TV. It's on a pivot arm and you can stow it away, bring it back or bring it forward. There's a curtain here that hangs up right here. It Velcros up right here for privacy at night from the cockpit area so people aren't peeking in. And this thing does lift up and you can stow that away so it's easier to get in and out of the cockpit. I'll show the cockpit towards the end. It is sitting on the Chevy 4500 chassis with the 324 horsepower 6.0 V8 gas engine. For all you Chevy lovers out there. This coach does sleep about seven people. Boot dinette breaks down into a bed. Pretty easy. The breakdown takes a couple minutes. Your fabrics are going to be the ultra leather on the bottom here portion, and then on the back rest is going to be on the top portion is going to be the ultra leather, and this is going to be um, stain resistant cloth. There is absolutely no wear or tear on this coach whatsoever. Opposing the boot dinettes, the jackknife sleeper sofa, which is like a futon, back and bottom lay down. This does come out and lay down pretty. Let's do it. I'm one-handed, so. And it lays out and goes right back up pretty easy with one hand. So, ultra leather finish. And again, no wear. There we go. It's pretty good lighting right here. On your window treatments, it's going to be a tan color and then some browns, I guess. And you do have nightshades all throughout. Nice add a leaf here for more counter space. Two 110 outlets right here. Nice big double bowl sink. It does have a lot of counter space for this floor plan. Three burner gas cooktop front burner, usually a high output. And looks like the oven's never been used. This coach is a second owner. The second owner, current owner, is actually selling it because they really want a Class A gas motorhome. So they're wanting an upgrade. We are hooked up to 110. I'd like to show out that the digital readout's working. You do also have a huge pots and pans drawer up underneath here that they chose to use for their utensils. Kind of spin around here. I'm going to try to show off all the cabinets and stuff. The cabinets all along the side there above the booth dinette. All right, your refrigerator is going to be an eight cubic foot Dometic refrigerator, gas and electric. There's your Dometic badge right there automatic turn it on turn it on auto and you are ready to go the owners have it nice and cold for me it's nice and cold a little bit of frost right there always like it when they have the refrigerators nice and cold coachman does a pretty good job on doing radius walls in their class c's they've been doing this for a long time i used to sell these new and the uh, coachman uh, concords the little class b's and they were known for doing their radius wall which is a pretty neat concept i think most manufacturers should, should do pretty cool walk through bath you do have the glass enclosed shower not just a curtain that is a, definitely a nice selling feature skylight
private commode area and you do have the raised foot flush toilet and again lots of cabinets in the bathroom you are ducted heat and ducted AC all throughout even in the bathroom master bedroom is going to be a queen bed queen bed does lift up there's your freshwater holding tank it's going to be a 40 gallon freshwater holding tank You've got a 31 gallon black tank, which is your toilet, and a 31 gallon gray tank, which is your sink and your shower. On all campers, always check all four corners. First thing I do when I get inside, check for all four corners, look for any wrinkling, any uh, the wallpaper peeling or anything like that, or staining. I did not find any issues with this coach whatsoever. This coach passed with flying colors. That's another radius wall too. I'll show that to you in a second. This is where your TV would go. Hookups for your TV, cable. I guess you'd mount it right here. Looks like that's a service panel for probably the shower. In case you need to service the water lines. Curtain for privacy from the master bedroom into the shower area. And again, just look up in the corners for any wrinkling. I'm not sure what they're calling the cabinet. It's some kind of a maple, I guess. But it is uh, nickel hardware on all your cabinets. You do have a fantastic vent fan right there that they're hiding with this thermofoil insulation. Fantastic vent fans, they don't give those out. So that was definitely an option. A little radius wall there. I find that neat. And Coachman's really the only ones that really I've seen do it. And it was a big selling feature when I was selling them back from 2004. LED lights all throughout, saves you on your battery. The floor is going to be the residential grade uh, uh, vinyl flooring and it looks like a stone look. Thermostat controls right here. I believe your furnace is probably going to be a 30,000 BTU gas furnace, more than likely. AC unit, large 15,000 BTU ducted AC unit with quick dump. Open up these louvers, do a quick dump. After a couple minutes when it cools off the coach, close these louvers off and you've got ducted AC all throughout. 13,500 BTU was the standard on this and I believe that that 15 was an option that you paid extra for, or part of a package. A little thermofoil insulation right there. There's a, a vent there and you've got one also up in the cab over bunk area. All right, oh, and you do have a DVD player right there. Now well, let's show it off. DVD, CD. All right, spin around here. This is gonna be your central command. Generator has 28 hours on it. Uh, it's an Onan 4000 gasoline generator. Uh, your water pump switch right here, pretty easy to figure out. Your gas, six gallon gas, water heater with direct spark ignition water heater. You don't have to go out and light it. You just hit the switch and it lights off for you. You do have tank heaters, it looks like on this. Yeah, it looks like you did. Uh, that was probably part of a package or an option that you paid for. LP tank is a 40 pound LP tank and it's full. Batteries are fully charged. One of them, the house battery is new. The owner told me when I got here. And again, freshwater tank, 40 gallon, black and gray tank, which is your holding tanks. For your wastewater each are 31 gallon and i think i got everything and then i'm going to show off the stabilizer jack system on this and i've got the jacks down kind of pan in on that real quick that's your electronic stabilizer jacks right there nice and convenient this is going to be your converter and your breaker box see there's your breakers and it is not an inverter it's a converter uh oh Disconnect switch for the whole house so you're not draining your battery once in storage. Awning in and out button, interior lights, and patio light. You got the idea on that? Okay. Oh, it's a beautiful day today. 20 foot power awning with the LED lights attached to the sidewall, and they are all working. So when the awning is actually in, you have awning lights versus the ones that they put in the tube, which I don't know why they do that because when the awning's in, you can't uh, operate your patio lights. Anyway, it does have the exterior entertainment center on this. Looks to be maybe a maybe a little 15-inch flat screen, and you do have a 
sound bar here and it looks like it's smart device ready USB port I'm not sure if it's Bluetooth your stereo inside the cockpit area that's Bluetooth but I have to double check on that pretty neat let's close this off kind of give you an idea of what it looks like one-handed here it might pop open There's your 40 pound LP tank, which is full. This thing's ready to go. Back up here, kind of show off that uh, fiberglass finish. That's the Asdell fiberglass constructed sidewall, which basically will not delam. You won't get that bubbling because it does, they don't, they're not using that uh, wood luon uh, for backer for the fiberglass phylon anymore, which swells up. And, and traps moisture so uh, definitely a neat concept they say it eliminates any kind of d lamb and I always check all these class c's up in the corners uh, for any bubbling or anything like that and uh yeah this pass with flying colors uh this is going to be a fiberglass front cap on this there's your coachman freelander badge there and that color is going to be a tan color and that I believe this is uh, bled through the color so if you scratch it, it still stays the same color it's almost like a full body paint but it's not decals are in excellent condition I always look for curling or anything like that this coach has been stored inside pretty much all its life six gallon water heater service panel and it's gonna be a refrigerator service panel this is gonna be your furnace service panel always call it the hand warmer it's your exhaust right there all the tires are in excellent condition Our prep for solar 110 outlet right there gas hook up here if you want to hook up a gas grill or something like that you've got that option huge rear storage or garage storage if you will look at that huge pass-through storage and they're rotocast compartments you can kind of rinse them out finish off showing the back here you've got three access points in the rear garage here this is all up underneath your bed and it's real deep down in there that's a tub like a rubbermaid tub so it goes down pretty deep lots of storage on this floor plan 5,000 pound tow capability the only reason why I know that is because it says it right there and it said it in the brochure Electric stabilizer jacks, I've got all four of them down. To give you an idea there. Look at that spare tire. Usually they don't give a spare tire anymore. This coach is sitting on the Chevy 4500 chassis. 324 horsepower. 6.0 liter V8 gas engine. And you are ready. You have a backup camera there. Kind of show off the back side here. Oh, fully adjustable awning. You got the little knob here so you can kind of tilt one end down sometimes you won't get that oh ladder to get up on your full walk-on roof full aluminum frame construction by the way on this coach uh, I believe the tent on this is gonna be an 80% tent that's what it usually is and that's uh, again the garage I've already shown that off a few times there's your hookups for your holding tanks and your sewage your gate valves gray tank and there's your black tank gate valve and again heated holding tanks uh, 57 gallon fuel cell on this coach on the Chevy's 55 is on the Ford's Chevy just seems to have a little bit more and again excellent tires uh, the tire I'm starting to show off the tire sizes just for uh, information for people who are looking in these coaches 225 75 are 16s there you go they're already hooked up to water here and uh, fear yon this is a satellite hook up here let's see what we got in here looks like more storage 30 amp service nice marine style cord and you do have a light here in case you're trying to figure out electrical issues it shows you that you have shore power coming in which is neat and RV inlet. I don't know what that is for. Huh. I have to check that out. 
Coachman does unique stuff. This is going to be your Onan 4000 gasoline generator with 28 hours on it. Beautiful running boards there. I'm not sure if that was a part of an option or a package. There's your 4500 badge right there. On these nice sunny days, I just look down the side. That's why I do my videos on sunny days, so I can pan down the side to see if I see any wrinkling. And as I point out, it's the Asdell fiberglass construction on this, and uh, pretty much eliminates any chance of delamination or bubbling caused by water damage. Let's show off that. Well, showing off the tires, gotta show them all off in those beautiful steel wheel, wheel simulators. 16 inch wheels. Beautiful Chevy front end there for you. There you go. Yeah, they don't do the Chevy chassis anymore for you Chevy lovers. They're only on Fords now. I don't know why. Oh well. Power locks, power mirrors, heated defrost mirrors, all the good stuff. Yeah. Here's your Chevy badge there. There's the mileage. I don't know if you can see it. 7,459 miles. Let's uh, show off the key there. There's your key. Just so we're not hearing that beeping and I've got the jacks down so that's the beeping more than likely but uh, 7,459 miles currently on the coach let's go ahead and turn it off because that's really annoying uh, Bluetooth all smart device ready on your stereo and that is your backup camera to uh, monitor and thermostat controls here looks like you have tow haul mode there can I show that off there traction control on and off right there nice 12 volt hookup right there hooking up a charger for your phone or whatever and this is all good stuff looks at yep 110 outlet there and a 12 volt for the co-pilot seat kind of show off co-pilot area and you do have cloth seats again stain resistant heavy duty fabrics on the pilot and co-pilot seat and again no wear or tear Lights right here and dimmer dome light there. Looks like it has lane assist. I guess it tells you beeps when you get out of lane or out of pocket is what I say. And yeah, uh, you get the idea. Let's take the key out. You got the idea on that. It's a beautiful coach. It's actually out here. I'm in Louisville area, but I drove all the way out to Owenton, Kentucky to list this coach. The owners are actually interested in something else that I have listed. So I'm just trying to help them sell theirs so they can buy something off my website. But uh, beautiful coach. I was uh, extremely impressed when I came and saw it for the first time here this morning. So anyway, if you want to come and see the coach, call the number on the ad. You always deal directly with the owner. Uh, if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you have a comment, just leave it right below.